Okay. Now I seem to be going on my recording, but I want to tell you this. One more time. I've been cut off on Facebook. Facebook's cut me off. I've been cut off, apparently, on YouTube, and now it seems as though they cut off my camera on my screencast-o-matic, and I can't even make a recording. Now, I don't even know if you're getting audio on this recording. But I want to tell you this right now, ladies and gentlemen. If we sit around on our butts and don't do nothing, they're going to completely cut us off. And I want to ask a question, is this what you want? Who do they think they are anyway? No wonder they put artificial intelligence in control because they don't want somebody, they don't want somebody's picture, amen, they don't want somebody's picture uh, out there to say this person is responsible. See, when they put artificial intelligence, didn't you, you ain't got no picture, it's just electronics. Is that what you want, ladies and gentlemen? You want this craziness to control you? Next thing you know, they'll be turning on and off your car. They'll be seeing where you're going and cutting you off. Turning your car around, sending you back home again. They'll be all up in your bank account. What, they going, what are you going to do if all the numbers disappeared in your bank account? And you went to the bank, if you could get there. And the teller looked at you and said, well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but it just says zero here. Nothing I can do about it. What are you talking about? I had my last $300 in there. You're going to tell me I got nothing. Where'd it go? You stole it. Uh-oh. Now they're going to call the cops. The cops are going to come get you for yelling and calling a disturbance in the bank because they stole your money. You see what I'm trying to tell you? It's the fight of the demonic mafia. And right now in this season that we're in, the Lord has laid back and let them really begin to move because it's the end time. But we, the church... We're still here. Jesus paid it all. I don't care who you are. Whatever the price is, Jesus paid it for everybody. Still. This age of grace ain't over. And this fight, Mr. YouTube and Mr. Facebook has just begun. I'll fight you every day. I'll make you censor me every day. And if you burn up these computers, I'll go in the dumpster and get four more. Now, Mixler.com. This is the only place that you can go and hear the truth without censoring. Now, I'm making this, I hope I'm making this audio for YouTube to tell you. Mixler.com slash end time four five six five. That's where you gotta go. Because YouTube and Facebook wants to cut me off, but you're gonna have to find a way. You're gonna have to find a way to help support the truth. You don't have to give me no money to help support me. All you have to do is log in, log in to this broadcast. You can always find me on end times 4565 at Mixler.com. You're not going to find me on YouTube hardly anymore because every time I try to do something, they shut me down. Well, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and stick with your YouTube channels that you normally watch. You know, they're not censoring them, you know. They're not cutting them off because 99% of them ain't giving you nothing but fake news. 
Is that what you want to live on, fake news? That's what the demonic mafia wants. They want you to believe in fake news. That's the only thing they're letting out there. But I'm going to tell you what's not fake news, and that's Jesus Christ. He's real. He's alive. He's here now. It's the age of grace. You can be saved if you receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. You can break away from the clique of the demonic mafia by accepting Jesus Christ. He will give you the authority and the power to turn your back on darkness and walk away and walk away clean. Now, that's truth news. But you want to go ahead and keep listening to fake news, brain dead, blind, ain't got sense enough to know what, a, what he is and what isn't? You go to the grocery store now and ask a millennium if they want paper or plastic, they're going to say a credit card. Hello? dumbed down. Ain't nobody knows anything anymore except what they being pushed, this seed of garbage. The seed of garbage from the world being pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed on the United States. When all hell is about to break loose right in front of us in the Middle East and boom, it's going to happen so fast. And we got to stand up around here. I'm tired of the congregation sitting around eating chocolate sundaes, doing nothing. Yeah, go ahead. Keep doing nothing. Well, I don't want to preach the gospel, Brother Ed. Okay. I do. Somebody has to. Huh? So you're just going to eat your banana split? Huh? And let them cut me off? You know, they're probably going to come to my house. And that's all fine and dandy. I highly expect it. Because the Bible tells me. preaching these mamby-pamby sermonettes, spewing out, spewing out a fume of dung that don't mean nothing and has the stench and the smell of the demonic mafia. Looks like a painted grave, but inside the funk and the smell and the lies and the stench from the demonic mafia will knock you to your knees. We cannot allow our rights to be trampled on. Now people, saved or not, you've got to do something here in the United States. We cannot allow our rights. We still have a constitutional right they may not have had electronics back then, but we got it now, and we still have our rights. If they say they have a right to cut us off, then let's go somewhere where we have to pay a nickel and a dime for it, where they can't cut us off. Let's do something. Let's boycott. Stop watching it. Our kids are addicted to this funky, fake news stench that comes from the pit of hell, from the pile of dung that's being shoved down the throats of our children, and we're letting it happen. It all ought to be cut off. Well, you're interfering with my rights by talking this way. So click, 
click the X. Click the X, click the stop, and delete me from your YouTube funky channels. Just get me off of them dung filled funky channels. Shut me down, man. Somebody somewhere has got to hear me. And I know there's people in the other parts of the world that can hear me right now. And they're saying, that's right, Brother Ed. That's right, Brother Ed. That's right, Brother Ed. That's what's happened to us in the European Union. That's what happened to us in Europe. That's what's happening to us in Italy. It's happening just like that in Greece, Brother Ed. Just like you said in Yugoslavia, it's the same way, Brother Ed. Just like you said in Russia, it's like that. In China, it's like that. In Japan, it's like that, Brother Ed. Just like you said. Oh, and it's coming soon to a state near you. You mark my words. As sure as Jesus Christ is coming again, I am as certain and sure that your rights as an American are about to be totally destroyed for the lack of interest. Really? Really? For the lack of interest? I don't think so. You understand? So I'll end this broadcast, even though uh, I don't think it's recording me on YouTube, but I think the audio is still on, but I know the camera's dead because they've killed my camera. I'll get me another one. They're not but $10 for three or whatever it is from Japan. I'll give it a lick and stick it on the wall. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to stand up. I'm asking you to go to the highways and byways. I'm asking you to get out there and compel the people to come to the wedding supper. It's ready. Everything is ready. And they've already sent out an invite. And those that had the invite have refused to come. And now it's time. It's time now for everybody to be compelled to come to the wedding supper. Because when it starts, just like the parable says, even then there'll still be room. There's always room at the cross for you. Always room at the cross for you. I grew up a young man, he moved from house to house, and running to and fro just like a little gray mouse. I learned to lie and to steal real well I never really knew I was headed straight for hell and Then Jesus came into my life and he turned it around He came in my heart Upside down, he emptied all the sin and all the pain. And since I found Jesus, I'm not the same. I grew up an old man. Wherever there was trouble, that's where I was found. 
They then say down took me and they locked me up tight in a cell. And that's when I found Jesus is down on my knees I fell. And then Jesus came into my life and he turned it If you're searching for something in this world you can't find There's no need to keep on looking cause you're wasting your time Cause it's not in money in fortunes or fame The only peace you'll ever find is in Jesus' name. So let Jesus come into your life. He'll turn it around. He'll come in your heart and he'll turn it upside down. Come on.